Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and an amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the stock market. This video is gonna be designed for beginners who are just getting started and in investing in stocks or people who just wanna learn more information about the stock market. And if you guys do, make sure you guys smash the like button so more people can see this video and help out as many people as you guys can. So now let's jump into it. And if you guys wanna learn more information, go ahead and check out my blog, moneywithcarter.com. We talk about investing, money management, trading, stuff you guys would definitely benefit from. So now let's jump into it, roll the intro, let's go. Bam. So the very first question that we're gonna go ahead and answer is what is a stock? Well, when you go ahead and buy a stock, you buy a small ownership in the company. So if let's say I buy a share of Coca-Cola, I am now a partial owner in this company. I'm a partial owner in one of the largest companies in the United States. So the plus side to this is when the company gains more money and they get more revenue, guess what? I make more money because the stock value will go up. So that's one of the ways you can make money in stocks. Another way you can make money in stocks is through dividends. I know dividends may seem confusing, but dividends is pretty much when a company makes so much money that they say, hey, we're gonna go ahead and pay our investors. This will entice more investors to invest in the company and will make the company more money in the long run. And the entire market that surrounds all of these stocks is what you call the stock market. And there are hundreds and thousands of stocks that you can buy. There's companies like Apple, which sells the iPhone. There's companies like Dunkin' Donuts, which they sell coffee. There's Coca-Cola, there's even Microsoft, there's even a lot of other technology companies, Facebook, I'm sure you guys have heard of all of those. Now, not all companies pay dividends, but the ones that I always like do, just because these companies tend to perform better in a falling market and overall, they perform better in a bull market because you're gonna be getting paid dividends and you're gonna be getting the asset going up in value instead of down. Now, how do you buy stocks? Well, there's a couple of ways that you can go ahead and buy stocks. So the very first way you can buy stocks is through a broker. So I'm sure that some of you have heard of companies like TD Ameritrade, Robinhood, Charles Schwab. You know, all these companies are very, very large and reliable, which is great. Now, I would highly recommend Robinhood for beginners. The reason why I say that is because they offer commission-free trading that you can go ahead and buy pretty much any stock available, and they do have fraction shares. So if let's say you wanna go ahead and invest $5 in Apple, you can do that, and you will get the entire asset going up in value and down, but only with $5. Now, Robinhood is really designed for beginners. The layout is very, very beginner friendly and you're not gonna be overwhelmed with looking at a ton of information at one time. But if you are somebody who does have a little more experience in investing and trading, I would recommend TD Ameritrade's Think or Swim. The reason why is because they have a ton of charts, they have a ton of studies, they have scanners, and really this, this broker is designed for people who do have a little more experience through navigating the markets. But both of these are great and I would highly recommend them. Now another question that I get asked is, Carter, do you need thousands of dollars to get started in investing? And the short answer to that question is, no, you just need to be consistent with your investments. Now, I would rather see somebody pay $100 a month over the course of 20 years than somebody who spends $200 or $300 randomly throughout the year and puts it into the stock market. The reason why I would rather have person A is because they're gonna be more consistent and this is what you call dollar cost averaging. And this is just a little strategy that you can go ahead and use to invest in stock. So no matter what the price is, you're gonna going ahead and purchasing this stock and it's going to be continuing to go up in value as well so you're going to make a lot of money and you're going to be getting paid dividends. So now how do you make money through stocks? Well there are really two main ways. The very first way is let's say if I go ahead and buy a share of Coca-Cola. Let's say I buy a share of Coca-Cola for $50 and let's say over the course of a couple of years Coca-Cola goes to $70. My total profit for Coke is 20 bucks, which is awesome. But if let's say I go ahead and, and invest in Dunkin' Donuts for $50, and let's say the stock really doesn't move a whole lot, but they pay that dividend, I'm gonna be getting paid a dividend to hold this stock. So really you just kinda gotta pick and choose which stock you guys would you know rather have. There's a ton of stocks that do pay both where you get where you can easily see the stock going up in value and they're gonna be 
continuing to pay a dividend. Now, most large companies, they do pay a dividend of anywhere from one to about 4%, which is pretty average for a lot of stocks. Now, can anybody invest in the stock market and can anybody make money in stocks? Really, the way I look at you know making money in the stock market is the more you learn, the more you earn. I feel like that's a very, very common saying through a lot of other industries, but this one applies especially to the stock market. Just because if you have more information, you're gonna be one step ahead of somebody who doesn't and you're gonna make more money than them. But overall, Anybody over the age of 18 can invest in stock. I would really recommend someone starting out investing their money in the S&P 500, which is the top 500 companies on the market. These companies pay a dividend, they have a long reliable history of you know, growing in value, and somebody can sit back, relax, and they don't have to invest thousands, they can just sit back and invest a little bit at one time. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of trading. What is trading? Well, trading is buying and selling a stock in a short amount of time. There are really two main different types of trading strategy. The very first one is what you call day trading. Day trading is when you buy and sell a stock in that same trading day. Swing trading is when you buy a stock and hold it for anywhere from over a day to a couple of weeks. You're going to hope that this stock continues to grow in value. Maybe you're predicting this stock's going to do good on their earnings. Maybe you're predicting that this stock's at a good price point to buy, but overall, it's still what you call swing trading. Now, the next thing that we're going to go ahead and cover is how to smash the like button. Make sure you guys smash the like button if you guys get any sort of value out of this video. I really enjoy making it. So what is the S&P 500? You, I'm sure you guys have seen it on CNBC or even Fox News, what is it? Well, the S&P 500 represents the top 500 companies available for publicly traded in the US. These are companies like Apple, Amazon, and I'm sure all these other ones that you guys can see on my screen. Now the S&P 500, the reason why a lot of people invest in it, because if let's say one company goes up and the other company goes down, you're kind of at this break even. But if the entire market goes up, then you're going to be making a lot of money. The S&P 500 has made anywhere from 9 to about 12% per year. This is the entire market that I would recommend beginners who start investing in. Now you can buy low cost ETFs for under a couple hundred bucks. And this is going to be a fantastic buy because you're going to be making that 9 to 12% per year. You're going to be getting paid dividends and overall you're going to make a lot of money in the long in the long term. So that is it though. That is the whole topic I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys want to get more information, make sure you guys leave me a comment down below. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Remember to stay happy, stay positive. We'll see you tomorrow guys. Take care. Have a good one.